Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I want to do today is show you how to create a simple, basic Facebook fan page. And the reason why I say that is I'm going to show you exactly how to create one as far as getting one set up, the basics behind it. And the reason why is I've recently started publishing some videos on how to market your photography business using Facebook fan pages. And I've been receiving some emails from people saying, you know what, Scott, it's great. It sounds awesome, but I don't even have a fan page yet. How do I create one? So rather than try to explain it through an email, I figured I'd just create a short little video showing you the basic steps on how to create one. Now, the first thing is, is you have to have a Facebook account just to start with okay you have to have a personal profile page now with that being said if you already do have a Facebook uh, personal profile page you want to have a Facebook fan page as well and I talk about that in another video that I did that actually shows you uh, or you know explains the reason why you want the two and you want to separate the two you don't want a personal profile page to be used for your business and there's a lot of tools that you can use within the fan page and I'm not going to get into that in this video but I will leave the links below this video wherever you're watching it whether it's on YouTube or on the blog and you'll see that I'll have some links below there that can show you further uh, videos that I've created about this topic alright but just to make it fun let's go ahead and let's click the the uh, online stopwatch here and see how long it does take me even though I'm talking the, the one thing that you want to do is you want to go to Google and type create Facebook page and the reason why I say don't get, just go directly to Facebook is because sometimes they move that link around so if I showed you where it is today it might not be there tomorrow so the easy way is just go to Google type in create Facebook page click on search and then from there you're gonna use it's usually gonna be the first one not this one up here this one here would probably take you to it too but this is a paid ad um, this is the one that's like in organic search so this one here is the one you would click on just look for facebook.com pages forward slash create and then from there click on that it's going to take you to this page right here which is the page that we ultimately want to land on this is the one that we want to uh, start with all right so then from here I'm already logged in I'm gonna go ahead and click on local business or place I'm gonna pick a category I'm gonna pick local business if I can find that here uh, right there and then I'm gonna type in my name I'm gonna do NPB photography and we're going to do the address and again I'm blocking this out because of privacy reasons I think you can understand that and do the zip code and your phone number and check this right here where it says I agree to Facebook pages terms and make sure you read that if you're not familiar with that and then click get started hopefully that'll be available for me it looks like it is cool here what we want to do is we want to type in and it tells you everything what to do here it makes it so easy to do it, you want a category so we're a photographer right so we want to type in photographer and uh, you can probably add other ones too if you wanted to but I'm gonna just move through this add a description with basic info for NPB photography specialize in helping photographers market um, their businesses um, okay so that's what I would put there. Website, I'm going to put in, uh, let's see, www. and then newportraitbiz.com. Put that in there. Definitely put in your web address if you have one. If you don't, you can always come back and add one. But you want to put that in there, and I'll tell you why. Um, that actually puts a link on Facebook that points to your, your blog or your website, which also makes it nice because it'll direct people over to your your uh, property, right? Your blog or your website. It also creates a link over there which will give you a little bit of of juice as they call it, a little link juice that goes from a really high authority site which is Facebook over to your site and there's a whole other video I can do on that topic but just make sure you put that in there and make sure it's correct alright now is NPB photography a real establishment business or venue we will say yes say yes or no if it is um, will NPB photography be the authorized and official representative of this establishment business or, re or venue on Facebook yes and then click save info boom there we are set up NPB photography so here we go now we got a profile picture now this picture right here I'm gonna jump into Photoshop real quick and uh, let me see that's my cover okay so here's the uh, profile image and the, what I did here is I they're always changing this too but right now I have found that you want your profile image specs to be 960 pixels wide by 960 pixels high now if they're just 500 by 500 it'll still work because it's a little thumbnail but the bigger that you make this image within like one megabyte I think it is it will make it so it looks higher quality alright so just there's your 960 by 960 alright so that's what I'm gonna use right there so I'm gonna go ahead and find that I'm gonna upload it from my computer and I'm gonna 
or find it there and click that and from there there it is cool now we're gonna go next okay now what we're gonna say is do we want this uh, we want to add the favorites to our news feed so our favorites so we can see it when we log into our account and we can get you know easy access to it and we're gonna say yes add to favorites all right and I can remove it if I want and then hit next and then boom we are done that is it so I'm pretty much set up now I'm gonna go further into this but I just want to show you something real quick four minutes and 20 seconds let me pause that all right four minutes 22 seconds it took me to set up that page that quickly now I've already added this here to it all right but I haven't added any other thing to it right I haven't added any of my cover photo so the first thing that I would do and you can hide this admin panel here this is your admin I'd hide this just so I can see what it's gonna look like and then from there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click a cover okay pick a unique photo or uh, to feature at the top of your page and timeline you can always change this too alright so they don't want you to use any promotions any coupons any advertisements don't put, even put your web address in there you can put your name but just not your web address they could ban you for that alright so you don't want to do that so click OK and I'm gonna upload a photo I'm gonna use this one that I've already created I'm gonna let it load and then there it is save changes boom we're done alright so basically I'm gonna go back to this I didn't restart it but four minutes and 22 seconds probably add another 30 40 seconds from what I just did you're talking five minutes right and we've got a page set up alright so that's pretty cool alright so that's how you do it that's how you set up your own Facebook fan page and uh, I'll create more videos that'll show you how to actually start posting and stuff I mean it's real super simple you can come right down here if you want to start your first post go in here you can write something like hi this is my first post right and then I can add a picture if I want to I can hit uh, let's see go here click on this and I'm just gonna use that same cover image just for kicks there's dimensions and stuff I'll do other videos on that you want to keep your videos at but or your um, images at but let's just use that picture and then you just go ahead and click post and then boom there it is this is my first post there it is and then all your fans and everything would see it Oh, and one last thing, I just wanted to point this out. If you want to get to your Facebook page now, let's say that you're logged into your normal personal profile account, you have your news feed, right? We're in our news feed, which you're probably already familiar with. If you scroll down, you'll see on this side over here, on the left-hand side, as of right now that this is, you'll see the page that you created. You can just click on that, and then it'll bring you over to that page. Then from here, we can click on Edit Page, okay we can edit settings if we want to go into here now we can go over and we can start uh, you know changing some of that stuff that we already put in there uh, or we can even add more things that we want to you can do all of that stuff within in here page info is right here that's our name that we already used um, Facebook web address uh, local but you can change all this stuff enter our hours of operation so all of this stuff here can be changed um, and again if you want to just get back there just go to your home and then from there you're gonna go to where that tab is that's why we saved it in our favorites and then from there you can go ahead and edit like I said up here you're gonna edit page and go right in here okay or if we want to show down here or up here we can see our all of our information here and, uh, and just click hide if you don't want to see that so I just wanted to show you that because it's pretty important some people will now get the page created and they won't know how to edit the page so you just come over here click on that and then you can edit the page or if you want to change the cover image I mean everything is there you hover over it it says change you hover over here edit so it's all it's so so simple all right once you do it a few times you'll see it's it's super super simple once again this is Scott with newportraitbiz.com I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope it showed you how to create a Facebook fan page I hope you create one and I totally enjoyed making it for you so if you have any questions hit me up at newportraitbiz.com and I'll talk to you soon